Yeah, so if somebody is, you know, concerned with, if they say, ah, oh, it's too much pressure, sometimes it's not. It's it's a matter of surface area. Yeah. So it's a, like, if your hand is like this, it's going to feel way different than if your hand is like that. It cha changes the, the pressure completely. So, uh, surface area is a big way to control. So I'm going to bring Cody's lungs back to me because they were kind of sprawled out. Unless that's what you needed because your knees, huh? Yeah. So interesting how different... So you massage my calves once, and it feels completely different the second time. Mm -hmm. well, Things plus, are nice and soft well, and plus warm. I'm getting more the comfortable with it, you know. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Definitely. Acclimating myself to your way again. Mm. Adapting. And we're going to go ahead and flip after we get down to our feet. I said that a little fast because I want to go all the way down to Cody's feet. I've always been really big at going like, one into the other. I don't like stopping in the middle of a muscle or stopping in the middle of a stroke. Go all the way down. I'll go ahead and how do you ready to go flip? <laughs> so you get your <laughs> get your partner flipped. You can shake them out a little bit if they need. Go ahead and reach behind their feet. I let them rest on my legs. I'm just going to kind of lean back. CT? Holding on to those feet, stretching them. Should be feeling it in your low back. Cody, since you're sitting up like that, are you still feeling it in your low back? Good. So you can go ahead and whenever you feel like it, whenever you're done with that, you can set your receiver's feet down. I need to scoot back a little bit just so I can get, I want his feet to be right here where my hands are, right? That's where it's comfortable. So you can, with this kind of a hand, we're going to do some thumb pressing on the most inner line of his feet. And I press a spot and I move closer to the toes. I press a spot, I move one little spot closer to the toes. And I'm just going side to side doing this. And I sit on my feet all the time and I'm already kind of over sitting on my feet. So I'm going to come down and sit like this. And I'm going to continue the work, right? Never do anything that hurts your body as a giver or a receiver. Always speak up. Communicate. If your thumbs get tired, go ahead and switch over to palms. We are not here to make you hurt. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press up. I don't think I did this with the first tray, but we're going to do it now. Same way that we pressed up. <laughs> Same way that we pressed up the back, we're going to press up the front. Using your palm, just palm pressing up. Being aware of the bone, we're pressing right inside the bone, but not on the bone. Is that okay, Cody? Mm. Now, if your person likes more pressure, you could thumb press up. I think thumb press I don't... Three, five. It's intense. It's hard to even, like, get my hand into the So You're pressing right along the bone, right? But you can use your palm as well. Mm -hmm. You just lock out your arms and then not let them make it really. Cool. You can bring his legs a little closer to you, right? That'll help. Oh, you want him wider? More it feels like just going more around. Oh, with his knees. There you go. I wasn't seeing it. His knees were in, and you were doing the knees and legs out. I don't know. 
I feel better to you as a giver. I have more. I'll sleep more. True that. I see what was happening. His legs were more like this. Yeah. And so you were trying to find stuff to work, but really what you needed was the legs spewed open so you could work all this juicy, yeah. juicy calf. Now I can up. I will get better at teaching in person. So we're just pressing up. All this stuff in here is also going to contribute to pain in the feet. We just want to soften it. And how do your fingers feel? Pretty good, huh? Not bad. It's more so on that way, like you sitting there. So. Yeah, that's the hard part. And you can always kind of come up, you know, just be aware that as you come up, it's going to be more pressure. So I'm like right above his kneecaps. I'm just doing little circles. And I know we're doing a foot massage, but you know, how rude would it be to address the backs of the legs, but not address the fronts. So do be aware that this area is very sensitive. It's sensitive on most people. So I'm going to sit back and not be so much over Cody. I'm just doing some quick presses, some quick, slow presses. How I mentioned like the different times yeah. to give you an idea what you got to there. That was about twice the speed oh. of the move started. And that's what we all do. Right. We're like, okay, yeah. here we go. Bye. Yeah. But over time, you can see the rhythm. It is such a brand. Just have A, B, B. Oh. Amen. Hey, literally, that's what we all do. Yeah. <laughs> Your back feel okay? Okay. If you ever feel yourself reaching too far, scoot your legs up, you know, get, get closer to where you're working if you feel that. I'm going to do some little circles right above his knees again. Yeah. And go back to pressing down towards the feet. I am ADD, so that's why I always get off track. My bad. <laughs> but hey, I know our receiver appreciates that little bit of warming to the front of the legs. I'm going to do a little more traction. Honestly, I do remember when I first started doing Thai massages, the sitting on the feet, that was some of this was the hardest part on the giving, just getting used to it. I'm going to go ahead and do the, put his feet on my shoulders. I'm holding his heels in my palms and I'm just resting them so I can put one foot. See, I have one foot on each shoulder. I can control them. I'm just leaning in to stretch those calves. If you think. You're doing it hard. Josh, is that enough pressure or could you take more? See, you, you feel like you've given a lot, but it's like yeah. you can just really lean forward into it. Cody, is that a good stretch? You can do one shoulder. If your neck starts bothering you as a giver, hey, I'm done with that. That's all you get. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm done. That's all you get. Yeah. So just kind of stretch the feet, right? Kind of work the toes a little bit. And we're going to switch over into sideline position, which honestly, if you're just going to do a quick little thing for your friend, partner, sideline is awesome because it's so effortless. Doesn't, you don't have to, what were you saying? It doesn't go by too fast. It does go by too fast. <laughs> 